Well, as most of you know, the new Suicide Squad trailer came out, and I must say, it was very good. Very impressive. It actually, you know, gave me hope for Jared Leto as Joker. I really liked it. I liked a lot of the scenery that he was in. Some of the costumes he was in reminded me of some, like, slick costumes from the comics. Especially the tux. I love Joker in a tux. Oh, man. He just looks so sharp. But my problem with the movie, um, why does Harley take a Joker bath? Like, seriously, like, why do we have the New 52 this? You are not only saying that Harley isn't original, you're not only saying that Joker isn't original, but you're saying that the chemicals that made the Joker, anyone that falls into it is instantly Jokerized. That's what you're saying. Like, you can go back and be like, oh, no, you have to be, you have to be special, or it's only, it's only a one out of ten people. It's not. No, no. The moment you say that Harley Quinn... Harley Quinn, who fell into the same chemical compounds as the Joker and lived and came back crazy. You're saying that can only happen to one out of ten people and it just so happened to happen to Joker and Harley Quinn. You're bullshit, DC. You're bullshit. You've been on bullshit ever since Man of Steel. And I honestly have hope for this movie still. I'm, I'm honestly hoping that you guys don't pull a little fucking Deadpool bullshit come out with an R rating, and then actually come out with a PG-13 rating? Because let me tell you something, your movie Suicide Squad is not meant to be fucking PG-13. I don't give a shit who the fuck you're trying to sell it to. I don't give a shit that Ben Affleck's in it playing Batman. I don't give a fuck. That movie needs to be rated R because it's the Suicide Squad. The worst heroes around. They're not, they're technically not even heroes, they're villains. Some of them are anti-heroes like Deadshot and Harley Quinn. I consider them anti-heroes because in their career, they've been known to do good things. But, killer, well, Killer Croc too, and I guess Captain Boomerang. But Enchantress? The last story I read about Enchantress was in fucking Flashpoint Paradox. or well, Flashpoint. Flashpoint Paradox was a movie. But Flashpoint, where she decided to completely fuck over Cyborg's team because she was really working for, uh, I believe, Wonder Woman? Yeah. Yeah. Who else is in there? Uh, I, I can't tell who the fire dude is, but he looks like a villain. He looks pretty sweet, too. But getting back to the point of this, like, why couldn't we go with the Mad Love origin? Oh, wait, I forgot. It's because it's DC, and we just gotta, you know, not only are we gonna make our Harley Quinn a slut like we've been doing for the past, oh, I don't know, since her creation. Yeah. So the movie, anyway, to wrap it up, the movie looks fucking great, but just that scene, like, when I see that in the, in the theater, I'm just gonna look away. Thanks, DC, for fucking over the Joker and Harley Quinn in one, one swift swoop.